Are you curious on how to make a brain dead, stupid, simple PS1? I would say like start menu kind of animation with maybe your friends. It could be kind of funny. You could throw some text on there. I'm not going to really cover that in this, but what I'm going to cover here is we're going to go ahead and make a cube and layer on a face. We're going to pixelate it like a PS1. And we're going to teach you how to put in a little background and do some UV mapping. So it's all going to go by really quick, um, not super quick, but quick enough for you to not hopefully get bored and you can continue moving on with your day or your project. But let's just dive right on in. So getting started here, let me just move my mic a little bit closer for you. Getting started here, what we're going to pay attention to is this right hand corner. We're going to turn on ambient occlusion and screen space reflections. We're going to leave off bloom within the film. We're going to go ahead and print that down to about 0 0.01 because also and what you're going to do in the preferences, make sure the animation is set to linear. Once you have that, you're all good. I'm going to get a, a jump start on the layout. So what you're going to do is right click this little edge. This is going to split it into three. One is going to go ahead and be a UV editor. And the other, we're just going to go ahead and make this a shader editor for right now to make it easy for you all. Now we're going to delete the default camera and the default light. We're going to leave alone um, this cube. So first things first, what we're going to do now is we're going to bring in an image. This could be an image of a friend or whatever. I'm going to bring in an image of myself that I just use. So you just drag the file on over, connect the color to the base color. And that should be good enough. I believe leaving it as flat um, is fine. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and go into material preview. And we're just going to go ahead and click new, U, uh, not new UV. We're going to go ahead and drag that image into your UV layers. Press tab. Make sure within the face select mode. So after you press tab, these little three uh, icons can pop up. You're gonna click the one that has the square. It's gonna be pretty much face mode. And then with the UV, select all and click reset. Okay, and what that reset does is it makes all of our um, faces the same. And we all have them all selected. So now we can have the consistent kind of view. So go ahead and press tilde on the front and we want to make sure this the image is fixed so you can just go ahead and uh essentially once it's all selected you press r to rotate i'm just going to rotate like that you can hold control press f to scale and you can scale it on the y or x axis to help you out a little bit and you can bring it down scale it in a little bit Again, and once you have that, you'll see we got we got me on all these faces. So once that's set up, we pretty much have the UV mapped. Now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna make a quick, simple animation. So on your uh, object details, you're just gonna go ahead and rotate it from zero to 360. Oh, not location, my fault, friends. <laughs> rotation zero to 360. <sighs> cool. Once you do that, you should have an animation going on. Now, the next step we're going to do, just click, uh, don't mind that. Actually, I'm going to save it on my own time. Okay. Now what we're gonna do is, let's just preview and render to make sure everything went happened properly. Cool, it did. Let's go to front. Let's go material preview. Now I'm gonna do some HDRI stuff. If you're curious about, curious about where to download HDRIs, go to H, HDRI Haven, I believe. It's called Polyhaven now. Browse HDRIs. You're gonna to wanna to go ahead and click something that's like uh, maybe like a desert sky. It really doesn't matter too much, but you want something that's pretty bright, maybe like a desert works out. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull in an HDRI that I have.
Okay. You can see now it's looking kind of nice. It's rendering. Now let's go ahead and pull in let's go front. Let's pull in a camera. And once you do that, let's go ahead and switch um, our UV to a 3D viewport. Let's do rendered. Let's view the camera. Let's pull it back a little bit. Now, what you want to do is go ahead and within your camera settings, viewport display, turn up power supply. So you don't, we don't want you to see the extra stuff. Now, what I did on this step is you're going to have to import an image as planes. If you don't have that right now, go ahead and head into your preferences. It's actually an add on. And you just type in image as planes. Just type in image and you'll be fine. Image as planes. I'm going to go ahead and I downloaded something today just to quickly use for this. And I saw anime kind of like background. And once you bring that in, you're just going to pretty much scale it. You don't want to get too specific on the scaling because um, in terms of the X and the Y, because you can run into some details pretty some interesting details pretty quickly that you don't want to have to deal with. Okay. Okay. Now we have our render. You have a little bit of a background. You can choose at this point. Do you want your cube to be a little bit smaller? What about there works for me? I'll leave them alone. It's fine. Okay. So once we have these both set up, now we're going to mess with the compositing. Now, before you do any compositing, make sure you have a output set so go ahead and go into the folder make sure it's ffmpeg turn up the encoding perpetually lost this is fine with me click fuse nodes really simple here scale this is the pixel part so if you come here specifically for the pixel part this is your answer right here pretty much this little node so scale pixelate scale. Now what you're going to do is bring down this to a really low value. And then let's just quickly render an image just so we can kind of see what's going on here. Oops, I forget you know, viewer node. Reroute. Make sure that goes into the viewer node. And then you pull this up a little bit. Press V to just zoom out. You want to make sure you're taking up the whole space right about there. Now, if this is not pixelated enough for you, you can go in here and just kind of like pull back a little bit more. And that's pretty much it. So make sure your scale is low pixelate scale in the compositor. If things aren't looking too right, make sure you up down the filter size. And that's pretty much it. You can mess with the contrast or something. I highly suggest you don't mess with the contrast. Um, and that's, yeah, that's it. So I'm gonna render this and uh, we got some messages. Thank you, thank you for showing up again today. Uh, and taking the time to learn something. Just wanted to do a quick shout out to the folks that I've seen do these tutorials and share it on social media. And I think it's really cool. To, for me personally, as someone, I'm doing this uh, kind of in a way to just like expose more people to this program and have them understand that it's not that difficult. Uh, I'm not an expert by any chance, and I know it can be a little bit challenging and overwhelming, but we just want it to be super simple and to get you right where you need to be, get you set and have some cool assets and really wow your friends. So regardless... If you feel like this channel is uh, helping you out, feel free to uh, subscribe. Feel free to share it, a retweet, uh, follow me on social, and we can connect there and just link up. But regardless, thank you once again, and I hope you have a great day.